That sounds right. All right, yeah. Redbrook Golf and Marina, that's it. Nobody's played it? Well, at least it hasn't updated. Yeah, we played it this morning. All right, let's do it. We're doing it. Oh, look at that craziness. It's, it's like amazing. It's really goofy with all these bridges. It's really cool, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, I haven't played it. It looks cool. It's cool. How did Tim shoot today? I don't remember. I think he did pretty good. I'm going to add did, him in. He did well. I'll add him in. Oh, I'm going to add Daga in. I haven't seen him in a while. And then you'll be the third. I'll put their ghost balls in. Wow, he does. He's got the uh, bridges down, huh? Oh, he did some amazing bridges. I love the concept for this course. Cool. Okay. All right. You in yet? No. I'm in. I'm okay. in. Got to see. You didn't pop up yet. I'll add you, add you so you're in right away. There you go. All right. So we got. I got Tim's ghost, Daga's ghost, and you're in. All righty. So you say you think Tim did well, huh? Daga probably did well because he always does well. I think Tim scored like maybe minus five or something. He did pretty good. I think I did even. But I was distracted golfing as usual. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost it. Yeah, this is a long part four. Holy cow. Yeah, I love the concept for this course. When I first saw it in his course creator, I was a little blown away by his just the idea of it. And, you know, and Tim, he uh, highlights so many other people's courses. I wanted us to record it so his gets the uh, attention it's due. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> a shot. Daga Tim drills a birdie? No, he didn't break the first hole. Let's see what we do here. Get in. Yes. Rin is one I home. birdied it. Nice. Mine like went all the way. I hit it hard. I went all the way around the cup in a circle and somehow stayed in. Yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> Look at this nonsense. <laughs> this is awesome. No, it's cool. It's just Look it's... at his bridge. Oh, I'm going to go in the bunker. I think I did that this morning. I should have. I didn't play for the wind. I wasn't paying attention. I went down the club with the wind, and hopefully that's not going to put me in And that's train. what I needed to do. Yeah, I'm good. Sit, sit, sit. Hopefully I can part. I've left myself a bit of a putt. Three iron. And sticking for the most part. Nice. Yeah, that was a nice approach. Tim that. birdies. Daga does not again. I don't think I know Daga. He's Italian. He's cool. He's a funny guy. I don't think I played enough break. Nope. Dang it. Stop. Stop. I was trying to watch your putt. There it goes. I didn't play enough. I'm getting ready to putt now. <laughs> you made me rethink, and I added a couple more clicks of uh, break. Is that a par? That's oh, and then I didn't hit it enough. Oh, wow. Well, that's going to bogey. Uh-oh. Bogey for me. Dang it. <laughs> <Dang> never. <it. laughs> I hate the bogey. Yeah, nobody likes the bogey. Nobody likes the bogey. I'm it's to... funny how Tim always enjoys, he always talks about how much he likes courses that are like real, and this one's so, as far away from real as possible. Not that it's not cool, just that it's... It could happen. The holes are kind of real. Uh, I don't think this <laughs> would happen, though. <laughs> Well, I mean, but the I don't. I mean, are realistic. Well, well, just they're floating in water. Yeah, an island, a separate island for each thing with long bridges and. <laughs> right, but the holes themselves. Yeah. If you take away the water, they're realistic. <laughs> take away the whole course. I think I said the water. Well, that's the whole course. <laughs> no, the course is what we're standing on. Well, I know. I'm just mean. That's what I'm. I mean, the whole course. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen here. This is a. I'm hitting I think five this wood. Is a tough hole. 
I got on in two. On back side, though. I got on in two as well. I got a nasty putt. But my ball is not stopping. Actually, it's pretty flat. Head towards the hill. It is a pretty flat putt. I'm not putting yet, so I don't know. I'm going to try a chip shot. And you know how that usually ends I up. I pushed oh. it. Oh, it should have went in. Oh, I hate it. I hate putting now. All right. Controller. Here's my chip shot. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, if I had lined it up right. And now I'm way on the way other side. Way long. Of the game. Every time. Yeah, thank you. Chip shots are evil in this game. I, I don't like them. Oh, I should have just... eagled that. You can loft them. I think maybe if we learn how to loft them properly, you can still you can loft your chip shot so it doesn't go as far. So maybe that's what we need to do. You know, work on. All right. Well, concept. I still birdied it despite oh, that's nice. that, nice putt. Chip, that chip debacle. I think I'm not trying chip anymore. I think that was it for me. Yeah, I've given up. I on gave it a few though. tries after they made the updates, but I'm pretty sure I'm done with chips forever. <laughs> Oh no, no, rock! Oh, I'm stuck in a rock! And oh, it fell no. in the water. Oh, I can't believe that just happened. And they put me back on the tee. That part stinks. That shouldn't happen. Well, now this is over. So, wait a minute. You were stuck in the rock and tried to hit it. No, I didn't try to hit it. It was like went in the rock and it started freak I saw it, like, shaking, ricochet. freaking out. Shaking, freaking out. Yeah, it was like like it was stuck in the rock. The ball just kept shaking, and then it just like wet in the water. It was really weird. So I have a question for you about like the graphics. When you're standing here or on the tee where you still are, and you're looking over at these bridges in the boat, do, do you see just crazy like flashes on them? Like the yeah. light run. Yeah, they need to. Yeah, the shadows that. aren't very good. They need to address that. The shadows that could bugs be better. me. It could be like, seizure inducing. It's really flashing. The shadows aren't bad if you're like right next to something like a tree on the ground, but in the distance it's always kind of kind of goofy at times. Well, I know one thing Tim said he did was, uh, oh, J.W. Fickett has joined us. He's on my, he's live with us. I just bogeyed that hole because of that tee shot. I should have played my normal thing, which I didn't do, which is fade it into the wind or draw it into the wind and keep it straight. That's what I normally do, and I didn't do that. I almost never play wind anymore, like by moving it over. So I'm not used to how much I need to hit no, it. see, I still do that. I'm the fade draw thing just works every time. It's it's money. Yeah, I probably need to get better at that part. I always just shift it. You just gotta put a little tap over for like if it's like three mile an hour, and if it's like six or seven, you you maybe go half uh over, like on you know draw on half between that first two squares, you know. So one thing Tim told me he did. Ooh, I have six mile an hour wind. We need to club down. Did you do a three? I a five, I think. Whatever would make it just to the, just to the fairway. Okay. Um, Tim did the sun like full on overhead. You know how everybody does that evening, and I like that his course is really bright. Oh, uh, don't go in. The This might be terrible. Are you doing the 120? No, I, I did the 130 it. with a lot of with some loft. Actually, it wasn't bad at all. But I don't know if the 120 would make it. I think it will. I, I looked, and I don't think it will. Yeah, I and mean, the wind. I don't know how much the wind. wind. Yeah, it might make it. I, said. I didn't chance it. I only got a 14-footer. So. Here I come. Oh, I almost put too much loft. But I ended up pretty nice. I just need to make these putts. Oh yeah, you're right there. Nice. Drilled it. That bogey's gonna kill me though for the score. Look at Tracy killing Look at it. Look me go. Oh boy. <laughs> I love this hole. I love this one. So that's about 16 yards up. 168. 
ish into the wind. So you gotta hit that even harder. I'm going with the five iron and add loft. What do you think? Bad plan? Let's see. I hit the 170 and put a little little top spin on it and put it 14 feet, so. Oh, I might be sailing over everything. Not too bad. Actually, we ended up pretty close considering we had two different approaches. I have a really long putt. You could, uh, now that the greens hold, you can put a tap a backspin on it going into the wind now, you know, or putting it dot back in your stance, you know, a little bit. Mm hmm. And it, they'll still hold when they hit. Before I was too nervous to do that. It would add like a whole bunch of distance, plus it would never stop. You gonna hit oh, that putt? Oh my god! What? Did, did you see that? What is, what is going on here? How impressed are you? I am mightily impressed. <laughs> well, I've played it once, and it always well, helps still, when I play the course. Doesn't once. matter. You're still making the putts. That's what's you know. You hit a lot of nice putts so far. You know, I like his greens. They have some break, but I, I don't right, think they're, they're designed not unfair. to punish you. Yeah, which is good. Always good. Yeah, I, I hate that when... I want five wood, and I'm like right on the edge of the thing. Five wood's the club, I think, there. Let's see. Uh, I guess you could go... If you want... Uh, I think five wood's the safe bet. Well, I was thinking about trying the three wood. Well, you could. I don't want to mess up my good game. No, uh, five wood, you're perfectly safe, and you can't make it in two anyway. So yeah, yeah. There's no okay. point to right, really okay. screw yourself. I'm feeling a little lucky today, Scouse. Feeling lucky. <laughs> feeling lucky, punk. Well, luck's good, but don't get cocky. Because <laughs> that usually screws you. It screws you. Up. Right. Five wood, three iron, and then you got about a 73 yard uh, wedge coming in. So that's the play I'm doing. What'd you do over there? Five wood and then a, and then a three iron. And oh, I have yeah, a... we have to hit this. Uh... Oh, I don't hit 94%. Get up. Get up. Get, get, get down. That's not bad, but I uh, could have been a little closer. Oh, that's going to be now we have a tough putt. Shit. Tim stuck it. Daga stuck it, too. I don't know if Tim stuck it enough to birdie. That might be his chip. All right, here I come. I really yanked it left. I have a feeling it's all over. You just stay, hit your first shot? On... No. Oh, what? I thought you were still talking about your drive. <clears throat> no. Your second shot? Yeah, oh. I kind of messed it up, but uh, the grass stopped me. He did a good job with his rough. You know, to have a course surrounded in water, he made it to where you can hang on. It's like... You're not going in the water every five seconds. When I first saw the course, you know how I am with hitting in water. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm not going to like this. To play it, rather. But he did a really great job with it. Alright, here I come. So this is for some kind of a little <clears throat> nine-hole contest? Thing? Yeah, I think they're having a little nine-hole. I have messed up every shot on this hole. You're right. I got cocky or something. Something happened. Get yeah. in. No! How did that not go in? It was on the end of the Dang it. Could have tied Tim with that putt. Well, at least I'll par this. My shot from the fringe actually ended up pretty close. If it didn't have the backspin on it, I think it would have made it. Well, I can't think of anybody else's course to be as creative as this one. Me either. So either. Whatever, whatever the whole thing is, it's got a good <laughs> shot at doing something. I think so too. I haven't seen any of the others though. I think I'm a little biased. God, three wood seems too tough, too strong here. You don't think a three iron? Where are you going? I'm on the next T. I'm cutting over by in front of that bunker. Uh, that's where everybody else went, which is the right play. I just don't know. <clears throat> hmm. A five wood is definitely fine. It's a three wood. I thought I could get a little more distance. So five wood is safe. If you follow my line, you'll be fine. 
If you go down that other way, you're going to have a 200-some yard shot, because I got 167 from here. See, I feel like I'm going in the bunker. It's a little uphill, though, so no, I'm not. I'm good. I'm right there with you. Hmm. Six mile an hour wind in our face. I'm clubbing up. Damn, they stuck it. Both of them stuck it. Oh, it rolls back to the pin, that's why. I went long and it's rolling right next to the hole. Did you club up to the 180, the 5 iron? Yeah, and then I put okay. a little bit of loft on it. But if you hit long, it rolls right back to the cup down the hill. So I ended up being. I've got kind of a weird lie, so I'm not sure how this one's turning out. Yeah, I ended up three feet away. Birdie! Oh, my guy's going to walk right off the course, right into the water, I think. <laughs> With his club under his arm. <laughs> the missing link. <laughs> I All don't right. think I'll make this putt for Birdie. Hold up for me, wait. I'm watching. Okay, I'm going. Oh, that bogey oh. really pisses me off. It's my fault, though. I had a bad drive. Par? I did par. Okay, this up. is it. I should have added Tim to my ghost. What did... Oh, you don't see what he ended up. He's I'm five under sure. now. Yeah, I think he stayed that way. He was kidding. Dog is six under. Look at this nonsense. Well, you can go one of two ways. They you went over the, the water. Right. You can go to the right on that skinny little piece of fairway. Or you can go to the left one and play it a little safer, which I'm going to do. I'm afraid I'm going to end up in those rocks, though, because i got a pretty big wind. I'm going right over that bunker with a driver. That's with a driver? And I we have am a six -mile good. Just on the edge, though. I mean, I almost made it in the rough on the corner, but I'm in the fairway. All right, well, I'm going to try that then. So I only got 130 left. It was pretty close, Stoke, to bad stuff happening. Oh, that is scary. It's like right there on the edge. Look, but... look where I put mine. Right there with you. Yeah. I like when you go first. <laughs> oh, I stuck it. Ha <laughs> ha. One, twelve inches away. Oh, I thought I was going to go in for half a second, too. It looked like it, if it had another little kick, it would have went in. Tim, if he stays 500, then he misses his putt. He's got a pretty short putt. Actually, we'll be able to see him putt until I'm done. I think. Yeah. What'd you hit? Did you hit the 120 club? I did do yeah, 120. Yeah, that's the right one. That's what I hit. That's the put wind. It, I put it right there. And I'm pretty sure this putt is... Easy peasy. Now that I've said that, I'll miss it. But here goes. Five under. I'll take it. Dog went seven under. I'm five under now too. Wow. Did Tim? What did Tim end up with? I told you. I can't remember. Well, I'm waiting for his ghost. Oh, I won't see it. That's stupid. I won't see his shot because I'm done, and it won't update anymore once I'm done. He's sitting on the green. So what did I have? Thirty-one. Mine shows thirty because I'm done. But I won't be able to see his shot until I hit mine anyway, so I'll never know what he gets. I'm assuming. Uh, Tim got minus He five. shot a 31, so I shot a 31. He must have... Uh, yeah, we all got 31. Then he uh, birdied then. Dog shot a 29. Wow. Yeah, he's number one. Mm -hmm. uh, and number... Oh, Melody May's number oh. one, too. Yeah, they're tied. 29s. And and Thrangar. Thrangar. Them. The name well, I think up. it's an awesome course. Happy birthday, Tim. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. Cool.